second day technically first day back in person and work for the new year can you guys tell i'm refreshed and excited to work i actually got up on time i was ready for jordan got there we got out the house on time now if it's corey gonna be here on time i don't know but i did my part and it's all i can control so there's that but i missed you guys i think by now you guys saw the vlog where i went to on my solo trip and when I look back at that footage, I was like, oh, I look tired. I was very much tired, very much burnt out, and I feel like I looked every bit of it. So now I'm coming to you guys refreshed. Tell me if you can tell the difference in the comments. <laughs> because I am actually well rested. And when I look at that footage, I just feel like I look every bit of the tired that I was. But such is life. Um, but yeah, that's it. We'll check back in with y'all when we make it to shoot location. I'm not gonna bore y'all with my driving shenanigans, we'll just pick back up when we get there. First of all, let me talk about it. This is the behind the scenes of changing clothes in your car when you're shooting on location. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I had to cut the arrow because I don't want to sweat. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. <laughs> um, things they don't tell you about being an influencer and changing in the car, shooting on location when you don't have, you know, because I normally always change in a car or like I said, a pop-up tent, but I just need to order one. And I just was telling her, girl, remind me to order a pop-up tent. Because <laughs> putting on pants or shapewear in the car is for the birds. Okay, I got my shapewear on. Now I got to put the pants on. <sighs> my stomach muscles are hurting. <laughs> it's like I've been doing crutches. <laughs> I started off so energized. <laughs> this is only the second outfit. And I'm, <laughs> I'm tired. It's the changing for We me. still have two more outfits. We still have two more outfits. <laughs> And another location. The things I do for content. <laughs> Granted, this is my job, but it's, it's still the principle that it is not always as easy as it looks. <laughs> All right, let me put my lipstick on so I can get out of the car. to shoot at a Walmart gas station. 
I looked up Walmart fuel stations and there were only two that were relatively close close being 20 minutes away the other one was like 25 minutes away mm -hmm. so we come all the way out here 20 minutes away to shoot we get here it's no longer a walmart gas station it's a sam's gas station yes it does matter yes it does so <sighs> so i think this is becoming a the struggles of content creating <laughs> video <laughs> We can make it work and i'm changing my lip because i had on red with the last thing i'm putting back on my usual nude which is the sephora um lip stain this is i want to say pretty auburn i think that one i think this one is vanilla cream i put that in the center juvia's place and then the fancy lip gloss i told y'all about this a while ago i'll link it down below if you're interested but this is the nude that i always wear yes all four i am so out of focus i'm so sorry y'all but <clears throat> yes all four lip products matter i'm gonna fix my hair y'all don't worry it's just windy outside but i'm trying to think what other tips can i give y'all because apparently today is about tips for creating content um also today i was like we need to get a um which i don't know why we didn't i didn't already have this but a shoot bag where i have like because i needed a um blotting powder because i don't know if y'all can tell where i kind of got my makeup there probably for those sunglasses um where i keep you know blotting powder and stuff like that what else a pop-up tent yeah we're gonna get that now that of course that's this just gonna stay in the car so i'm gonna go to bag my aquaphor y'all know i swear by this aquaphor spray or the stick this is easy for on the go like when you're shooting because today my arms is out my shoulders are out and i had i changed from pants to dresses and back and forth and i love to make sure that my legs are not ashy you know when you're changing clothes so the the um the aquaphor stick if you guys saw on instagram the girl had partnership with aquaphor but partnership or not y'all already know i talked about this um bomb so it's just very easy to use in between clothes especially if you're going from like pants and stuff you don't want your legs ashy uh what else then i also mm -hmm. like to keep baby wipes and stuff like if you're changing lips mm -hmm. i use the baby wipe to take the lipstick off and then go back and forth maybe a comb hairspray bobby pins that kind of thing um like today i could have used a safety pin because my other dress was like very low cut and you can kind of see the little bow on my bra so a safety pin would have been nice for that so you know just little tips and tricks you learn as you continue to go and then of course a pair of flats we always have flats when you're changing and walking a lot um now if you're shooting at a studio you probably don't need flats but like if you're shooting out and about different locations take a pair of flats always okay now let's get this content done <laughs> you guys happy what's today two Wednesday, thursday wednesday thursday um the junk in the background so i reorganized my closet those are all of my belts and scarves that i need to find something to do with so in the meantime i just set them there and then the clothes on my bed is from filming today because i filmed a lookbook for you guys um so my room is in shambles because i filmed in here today so that's why it's looking ridiculous but i'm gonna give you guys a quick ootd Headed to get my nails done. I have on a bodysuit from Target. These leggings are from Target. These boots are from Nordstrom. Uh oh, and then this denim jacket. I actually just got this the other day, like I think maybe a week ago from Express in the store. It's so cute. I'm probably gonna tie it up, but I don't know. I just checked the weather, y'all. And it said it is like 80 degrees outside today. Like it's winter i don't know what part about it being winter texas does not understand it's literally been like it was 40 and 50 degrees last week and then this week it's been like i think monday was like 40 degrees and then today the high is 80. now y'all like girl you got a lot of clothes fits to be 80 degrees when i just stepped on a patio to see if it felt like 80 degrees it definitely was breezy outside so hopefully i don't pass out just pray for me girl <laughs>
right y'all so the claws are done and i love my nails y'all it's so cute i got chrome and one hand is gold and the other hand is silver i love 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 my nails shout out to annie she gets my claws right so they are so cute i got a new set and i love them so my face is a little bit oily i need to start keeping some blotting pads in my purse but um i am at pangea i don't know if y'all can see the pangea sign but um i'm at pangea we're gonna have a little impromptu ladies night through the week but normally on um uh, midweek me and the girls or somebody would go have a drink have a bite to eat or something um shania was saying she needs to get out of the house so i'm gonna meet her over here at pangea I had surgery on her ankle almost three weeks ago now you guys have not seen her but she's kind of been um down and out because she has a cast and she's one of those people who's used to being so on the go um and so you know having to sit down was just so not a not her thing so she's been kind of down in the dumps because she can't like work out and because she's a gym rat um that girl loves like, she's a hot yoga queen and all of the things and i'm just like girl whatever but anyhow um see so yeah, i'm waiting on her gonna have a drink and you know cheer her up she has a few days before she gets her cast off which i know she's gonna be very excited about and you know just have some girl chat and stuff but i don't know if i told y'all i filmed a youtube video earlier today the entire video was out of focus and i was like girl that is such a rookie mistake now normally i would be crazy annoyed i would be upset and frustrated because I pretty much wasted my time. I wasted two hours of my time. <laughs> and um, because I can't, use, well, I ain't gonna say I can't use the footage, but I don't wanna put this video out. I mean, the entire video is out of focus. And it's like, girl, how did you not see that? Especially with your new contacts. Did I tell y'all I got contacts? I've never, I don't know if I said that. I've never worn glasses before, any kind of prescription or anything. I think I told you guys that I've been, um, I couldn't see details so I finally I think I said that I finally went to the doctor got a prescription so I had my contacts so I'm like even with the contacts I could not see that I was out of focus because the thing on the side of the, the little monitor is so small like I couldn't tell that I was out of focus anyhow where I would normally be super annoyed I was just like I laughed it off like and it was after the fact I was like wow God is really working on your girl because one of the things i pray for this year and i think i've talked about this before now but um is enjoyment and just having genuine joy and when i tell y'all like going throughout my days lately i've just been like in a, a very joyous mood happy mood at the end of the day i'm tired like i'm sleepy rather but i'm not just like drained and exhausted now it could be that campaigns have not picked back up fully you know it's i'm just getting back to work but i'm you know like god thank you for this joy thank you for this like like i'm good even things that typically would have had me very frustrated like it's frustrating to have to re-record a whole video not a piece not moments a full on video full video two hours of my time gone down the drain deleted trash okay um but it is what it is and then while i was getting my nails done i feel like god gave me an idea for a different way to do the video so because i did as i was like well god what was i supposed to learn from this today like is this something i'm supposed to learn like what i need to do you know is there a reason and um i feel like i'll actually be doing the video a different way and i may actually film it this evening when i get home since my makeup is already on um i may just kind of touch it up and film the video tonight so it's gonna all work out the way it's meant to be. I miss my baby. Matter of fact, let me FaceTime her before I go in here. And I'll see y'all in Pangea, girl. Print. <laughs> you wanna say hi? Thank <laughs> you. I'm showing your ankle. happy saturday my battery is about to die and i left the other batteries in my purse yesterday but 
happy saturday it's been a minute since i picked up the vlog but today i'm out running errands i'm currently in the chick-fil-a line give me something to eat because i'm starving it's two o'clock i have not eaten all day why i don't know but I have to get some food and run some errands and I'll take you guys along with me and I'm gonna have to take y'all along on my phone because this battery is about to die. So I'll pop back in in a minute. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I ended up finding um, the extra batteries to this camera. I put them in my little cosmetic pouch that I keep in my purses. I thought I had them in the purse that I wore yesterday. So we're back in business. Um, this sweater, y'all love this sweater so much, but it's so big. Last year sometime I did an H&M haul and I shared this oversized sweater that I love so much. Um, and I finally got the chance to wear it because I had not worn it since I shared it in that haul video and yeah so as far as errands i want to try to get my eyebrows threaded i sh i shaved them the other day because i really girl it was looking horrible i shaved them in my upper lip it's grown back some but i don't know if it's enough where they can thread it because the last time i went i had to shave it and it was too short for them to thread so they were not able to thread it um so I don't know if they're going to be able to do it today. I'll just stop by and see. Also, I've been running around looking for some sneakers. Jada for um, Drill Team, they have a tennis and tux ball. I don't know why that's the thing these days. Nothing against it. It's just like that just seems to be the thing um, for people to do the like dressed up with sneakers thing. So they have um, that for Drill Team tomorrow. So I found some um, sequins, some silver sequin converse i hunted them down at a shoe carnival over here so i'm gonna pick those up and i also ordered her two dresses from amazon both of them came in one is too small the other one is just not cute so i'm gonna go in target and see if they have a dress because they had some really cute dressy dresses for girls recently um between the holidays and then it looks like they had some for like valentine's day coming up so i'm gonna look and see if they have something prayerfully they do because i do not want to go in the mall today um i actually went to the mall yesterday and i just knew one of the dresses was going to work that i ordered from amazon they both came in this morning and thankfully they did because i got a chance to look at them before because the thing is tomorrow i'm last minute per usual um but yeah i got a chance to look at them so i know i needed a dress because i just knew one of those options was going to work but there is that so outside of that what else do i need to do i need to get her a bow from the beauty supply i'm gonna take myself to an early dinner and that's it for the day i don't really have big plans um i went and hung out yesterday and my plan was to vlog yesterday we tried out if you're in dallas there's a new spot called dax luxury daiquiri spot dax something dax in plano let me know in the comments down below if you live in dallas and you've heard of it so we finally got the chance to try that out yesterday we went for happy hour and it was so nice i have to go back the vibe was cool the customer service was cool the food came out quick i had their brisket tacos which is what they had on the happy hour special and i had the um what daiquiri did i get i think i got a hurricane it was really good they have a drive through also if you live in the plano area um it's over there by and the shopping center with total wine off of 121 if you're in the dallas or like the north dallas plano area definitely check them out they have a drive-through but um i heard their brunch is amazing we just have to have a reservation and we haven't made one for that but it was cool so if you're in dallas check out dax all right y'all so we made it to target before we go in i want to show y'all the shoes so you can know what we're looking for i need y'all to help your girl out you know i need you to have your eyes open <laughs> but these are the converse that i got for her why are they like this in the top I guess the way they had them in the box but they're silver sequin I thought they were super cute these look so long but I always size up in Converse because um, Converse run pretty narrow so to make sure that they're not uncomfortable on her feet I always size up at least at least a half size um, but yeah so this is the shoes that I got her I'm trying to make sure they look iridescent but they're so cute and that's what she's wearing so i need to find her a dress because like i said the ones from amazon played me honey i love amazon but you know it's definitely hit or miss so let's go in here and pray that target has something so i don't have to go to the mall because i really don't want to go to the mall like i really don't
guys, so I've obviously made it back home because I have on my robe and all of the things and the air fryer is back here. Um, I don't know, it went off, but I was heating up my dinner. Anyhow, um, I wanted to show you guys really quickly what I picked up today and yesterday because I think I told y'all I was, my plan was to vlog yesterday, but I left my camera in the car while I was in the mall. So I just wanna show y'all what I got. So um, first things first, y'all know I was looking for something for Jada to wear to the Tinnies and Tux ball. I showed you guys the converse that I got for her and then I found a beautiful purple and uh, sequin dress. Um, I actually got two for her. The second one ended up working and I don't think I showed you guys, um, but I got her the, the first one, it was way too long. I got that from Dillard's and then the second option that I got her that worked better because it's not as long, I got that from JCPenney which was next door and that one was actually on sale for $40 so I love that for me. Um, Target was a bust, they had literally nothing, but I did get her some really cute little dresses. Jada loves to wear dresses. Y'all, last week, that girl cried. I'm talking about crocodile tears because she wants to wear a dress to school and it was cold outside. It was like, I think the high that day was like 50. Beloved, you cannot wear a dress to school and you wear uniforms, so yeah. Anyhow, she loves dresses, so they had some really cute spring dresses. I just got her these little tutu dresses. This one is Minnie Mouse. And then the other one is Hello Kitty. Just a cute little throw on and go type of dress, nothing major. And then I also got myself this crochet top from Target. Super cute, I love the colors. They also had it in a bone color. It's just this color all over. And I actually think I may exchange this for that or maybe get that one too. I think this will be a really cute something for like a spring with some jeans. Um, this would also be cute for vacation with something. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really cute. I love the colors and the crochet on it. So that was all I got today. The other things I got was just Jada's dresses. Yesterday, like I said, I went to the mall. I did not take you guys along with me. I don't. If you follow me in stories, you know that I recently finally got glasses in contact. So I did go to Warby Parker and pick out some glasses. They will be here, I think, next week. So I'll show you guys those when they come in. I tried to film like me trying on glasses, but y'all, I could not prop up my phone properly. So the footage looked a mess. But one of the exciting things that I got while I was at the mall getting Jada's shoes is this from Diptyque. Now, I've heard of Diptyque, seen them, never tried them personally. And I honestly, again, this was not what I went in the mall for. However, I was walking the mall and you guys, I walked past the store and the scent just slapped me in the face and I had to go say, ma'am, what are y'all, what is going on? What, what y'all, what is the scent? So she tried to first tell me, oh, it's her new fragrance. It was something vanilla some no it wasn't vanilla it was like leather i was like no that's not what i smell and they had this tuberose candle burning you guys this smells so good it smells so good this is the candle and um i mean i could just smell the fragrance even taking it out of the bottle it is i'd already opened it because um, I opened it yesterday when I got it, but I was just like, I'm gonna show y'all. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried Diptyque, if you own anything. Um, let me know if you have a candle, if you have a fragrance. Let me know your experience. This is my first purchase, my first anything, trying um, Diptyque fragrances home, whatever. So, oh my God, this smells so good. I cannot wait to burn it and see if it's worth the money. Now, this candle is, I wanna say like 60 something dollars. Where's my receipt? After tax, I don't know what it was before, but after tax, I paid $72 for this size candle. This is not that big of a candle, okay? So, very pricey, but the scent, oh my God, it's so good. So, I'm gonna try it out and see, and I'll report back if it's worth the money. If you guys have it or have tried it, let me know in the comments down below if you feel like it's worth the money. I love home fragrances, so if it's worth it, but, you know, we'll see. So, I went to the mall also for Sephora. That's actually what I went for aside from Jada's shoes. So a lot of the things that I got, I just read up on. Uh, One Size Beauty On Till Dawn Setting Spray. Love this stuff. I don't know why I always end up getting the small ones. I think maybe they're always sold out of this larger one. So I got the Big Daddy because yeah, I needed another one. Now I'm also interested in trying their pore um, minimizer. They were sold out of that. Um, if you guys have tried it, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but so far, I really, really like One Size Beauty. So in addition to that, I did get one of my One Size Beauty concealer. You guys know I've been using that for months. Um, I got my normal highlight shade, which is medium dark. 
I think. And then I also got one that's my flesh tone shade because I'm trying to get my five minute makeup routine down. I've gotten away from that. So I just kind of want to get that together. So I got these two from One Size Beauty. I also picked up another concealer from Too Faced. Now I used to really like Too Faced. I stopped using it just because I ran out and you know I just tried different things and um, I really did enjoy it so I just got another one to circle back. I am the shade Butterscotch and I want to say this is a lighter shade like a highlight shade. I don't think this is flesh tone. Let me see. Let me see what kind of concealer this is. I want to say yeah this is definitely a highlighting shade. This is not flesh tone. So that. I also got um a few of my favorite uh liquid lipsticks from sephora you guys know pretty auburn i always use it as a liner vanilla cream i use that with my favorite new lip combo this and my juvia's place in vogue lipstick i put a little bit of this on top of my fenty gloss but i also got this new one for another nude lip and this is i want to say warm nude yeah warm nude it swatched really pretty in the store so I went ahead and got those. I also got another of one of my favorite NARS concealers. You guys know I'm the shade Walnut, but I actually got a different shade this time. I got chocolate, and I want to say I got this as a flesh tone shade for like my five minute makeup look, I think. Let me see. Yeah, I got this one as a flesh tone shade for, again, working on like my five minute makeup look. So got that. Now, these are the new things that I got like new to me. I wanted to try out the One Size Beauty Turn Up The Base Versatile Foundation Powder. I've heard nothing but great things about this on La Tickety Talk. I've been on there a lot lately, and so I think this was this was trending. I don't know if it's trending now or if it was trending a while ago, but yeah, I'll be trying this out again for like my five minute makeup look. Also, I got something to try from Ajua Beauty. Now, Ajua, I want to say it's a black-owned brand at Sephora, and they have hair care products. I've heard nothing but great things about the brand, specifically this product here. This, does that say replenishing? I don't have my contacts in, y'all. Reparative mask. It says it's for damaging, damaged or color-treated hair. And, of course, I have color-treated hair. My hair is not damaged, but it's definitely been dry because I've been flat ironing it a lot and just wearing my hair a lot more than I typically do in the past on top of it being color-treated. So I got this to try it out. It has a faint smell to it, but I'm wondering why it doesn't have a seal on top. I don't know if that's normal, but, yeah, it doesn't have a seal on top. Um, that's different. That it didn't have a seal but um yeah i'll try this out if you've tried Ajua beauty let me know in the comments down below but i'm gonna try that out um my favorite mask and the mask that i've been using on my hair for the longest i use it on my clients i swear by it it is the joy co um replenishing mask their moisture retention line is absolutely amazing you can find joy co hair care products at I always get it from the professional hair store, but I know for sure Ulta and JCPenney carries it. There may be other places. Those are the two that I know for sure carry it. Their uh, mask is amazing. I just want to try something different, but if I don't like this, I'll be back on my Joyco. Last but certainly not least, I got the Soft Glam 2 palette from Anastasia. Um, again, I think I told y'all I'm trying to get back into makeup the way I used to. I look back at my old pictures like, I used to have so much fun with my makeup. And I just, lately I've been sticking to my same thing. So I haven't purchased a makeup palette in a while. And I got this one because I did, actually, in my stash, I got rid of a lot of old makeup and I don't even have a basic black eyeshadow. So I got this. I love this brick color, this shimmer color. It's a really nice little palette. So I thought it would be neat to try out. And it's small and compact enough that I can travel with it. And it just doesn't take up a lot of space in my makeup bag. So yeah, my main goal for going to the mall yesterday was really to find Jada her shoes and to re-up on products. And of course I came out spending a lot more than I anticipated at Sephora, but it literally always happens that way. How can you go at Sephora for one thing? That's like going to Target for one thing. I just can't do it. So <laughs> anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Oh, last thing, I just realized, I showed y'all that I went to get my nails done, but I never actually showed you guys my nails. They are so gorgeous my nail tech does the most amazing job i love them and i've gotten so many compliments on my nails now <laughs> i hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already make sure you're following me on all socials i will have them here down below girls somewhere i appreciate you more than you know thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video